Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, today we are going to make Dalgona coffee. Uh, you may have seen this as a trend on uh, Instagram, Facebook, all over the place. So I'm gonna show you today how to make it in your Vitamix uh, and then also the difference between doing it by whisking it by hand, uh, the results as far as um, one's gonna be a little bit more uh, fluffy, like a whipped cream. The other one is gonna be a little bit more smooth like a mousse. So you can decide on which one you like. Uh, and go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, I do wanna ask you guys, if you like videos like this, please hit the like button. We'll keep making more videos like this for you and hit that subscribe so that way you can get notified when we come out with new recipes too. So the Dalgona coffee is actually uh, three very simple ingredients that you're going to pour over uh, milk or pour over uh, a milk and creamer mixture. But the main thing is, is kind of that topping that you're really looking for there. Now, because uh, every day is Friday during quarantine, we're gonna add a little bit of Irish cream to this one because we deserve it, okay? So <laughs> what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use uh, four of the instant coffees. Now you'll see online, you'll see it's two instant coffees, two uh, tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of water, okay? But uh, with these Vitamix containers, you do need to get that liquid above the blade. So for these, you do have to double the recipe, which is fine, especially if you have multiple people in your home. And if you don't, you just need to make some more friends, right? So let's go ahead and get this going. <laughs> or you need more caffeine in your life. That's it. <laughs> All right, so I got my four instant coffees going in. Perfect. Four tablespoons of sugar. And for this, we're gonna do four tablespoons of water. Now, I've done this uh, multiple different ways to kind of perfect it in the Vitamix. And really the trick to it is, is just making sure that you're patient because just like whisking, you're not doing it at a super high speed. It's more so you're doing it for the length of time. And when you do it by whisking it, uh, you're gonna probably spend about five to six minutes doing that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this on the Vitamix and set it at a low speed, kind of as if we were whisking it. And we're just gonna set the timer to about six minutes and kind of let it do its thing. So we're gonna go ahead and set that timer to six minutes right there. Okay, press start. And then we're just gonna crank that up slowly to two and a half. Once that's done, after about six minutes, you'll see that this will be a lighter color, nice and frothy, perfect for topping off your coffee. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna top a little bit of coffee mate, some milk, some Irish creamer, and a nice, double wall insulated glass, it's gonna be perfect. All right, after about six minutes, you can see the hole that you look down that vortex to where you'd see the blades, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller as that thickens up. So now that we have the coffee creamer, the Irish cream, a little bit of milk and a couple ice cubes in there, nice stirred together, we're just gonna top this off. And you see that beautiful texture. can't go wrong with that. Okay, so this is what we found is we did one by hand using a whisk and we did a second one in the Vitamix. So here's the difference between the two. So you'll see that this one, uh, it does have a little bit more structure to it. Um, it was more like a, a whipped cream consistency, okay? Now, this one, uh, kind of funky to say, it had a little bit more um, actual uh, body to it, I would say. It's it's a, it's 
this you can actually kind of drink uh, in a way. So it's like if you have it in a cup and you're actually drinking it, this will just kind of float on top. Uh, this one I found kind of stirs in a little bit better. Now, the consistency between the two, this one here, uh, being that it's it's done by hand, it definitely has inconsistencies with the bubbles, as you can see. So you have some small, some large. Um, it kind of shows that handcrafted, you know, look to it, which is fine if that's what you're going for. This one, you'll see that the bubbles are much more consistent, and same as the color is, is consistent throughout. All right, you guys. Cheers. Mmm. Nailed it. Mmm. Every time.